All right, guys, this is Norval Central coming back at you another YouTube video, and I'm just trying to continue to do daily FSU content, trying to get all the information out there to you, and I really do appreciate all the love and support. I'm going to be talking about an interesting topic today in terms of Winston Wright Jr. He is more of an X factor for Florida State's offense, has been a guy that they brought in the last season when they had the transfer portal where they brought in guys like Deuce Spann, Micah Pittman, Johnny Wilson, and also Winston Wright Jr., Winston Wright Jr. was kind of highly regarded as that number one guy that everyone thought was going to be that person on wide receiver in the slot, as well as a little bit on the outside, plus kickoff returns as well. He was a dynamic special teams contributor for West Virginia. You look at his season stats from 2021, he had 63 receptions, 688 yards, and also five touchdowns. You turn over to the kick return game, he had 23 kickoff returns for 618 yards, which was good for 26.9 yards of return and also a touchdown. He got hauled down for one of the uh, touchdowns. And should have had two uh, that 2021 season, but, you know, here we are. But you look at it, and, you know, he had the car accident in Savannah, Georgia. It kind of derailed his season because that was in the offseason. He wasn't able to really practice, and once he kind of got his rhythm going – we all heard that it was going to be he was going to be back. Everything was going to be okay. Next thing you know, it just kind of kept snowballing left and right. And next thing you know, he never played. And now you're coming into this season. He's going to be more a year away from that injury at that point. And I think Florida State's got a lot to be happy about because when you're looking at some of the wide receiver numbers that you have, you have Johnny Wilson who had 43 receptions, 897 yards, and also five touchdowns. You're losing a guy like Pokey Wilson with 30 receptions, 495 yards, and four touchdowns. You got a guy like Micah Pittman, 32 receptions, 330 yards, three touchdowns. You got a guy like um, Hakeem Williams, a talented five-star receiver. Fandravius Jacobs is another guy, a four-star. Then you also got Goldie Lawrence as well that's a high three-star, low four-star type of prospect. You got a lot of talented guys. You got Deuce Spann that really didn't play a whole lot last year. You got Darian Williamson. You got Kentron Portier. And then you also got Ja'Kai Douglas. You got a ton, ton of guys. And I think this is a situation where you can kind of look at this and say, okay, you know, there is some talent in that room. But, you know, you have to look at the production that Winston Wright Jr. has had throughout his time at West Virginia and thinking about the long-term plan that Florida State has had for him. I think this is going to be an X-factor kind of guy that Florida State really, really wants to have in their offense. I mean, it's a shifty, speedy guy that really needs it. And how many times did you look at the kickoff returns last season and were like, uh, you know, um, I think the, the one bright spot for the kickoff returns was Trey Benson whenever he had that long kickoff return against Boston College. Really, I mean, Micah Pittman's kind of solidified himself as a punt returner at this point, but you do need somebody on the weapon on that side of the ball to kind of create Florida State in that great field position that we had. We tried out Sam McCall. It didn't really work out as much. Micah Pittman didn't get much burn because most of the balls did go to uh, Sam McCall at that point. But I do think that Winston Wright Jr. is going to be that X factor, and I definitely wouldn't uh, fully expect him to have that receiving numbers that he had from 2021. I think that could be kind of close uh, to what he might be able to average if he's healthy. That is the biggest issue with everything going on, with it being a lower body injury like that, him being as quick as he is. I um, mean, I think he could be a dynamic weapon going forward there, and I think that is somebody that you can really look out for. So when you're trying to kind of figure out who is going to get what and, and how many catches and how many yards is everyone going to get, and there's a lot of mouths to feed in this offense, and – I expect this to be a top 10, top five type of offense. And when you look at that, how are the receiving numbers going to go? Is Johnny Wilson going to take a little bit more of a step back? Is Micah Pittman going to take more of a step back or a step forward? You know, you're just trying to figure out what's going on with everything. And I think that's the biggest obstacle going forward this year. But I definitely think that Winston Wright Jr. is a big X factor in this offense. I'm super excited to see where he kind of develops and shows, showcases his game. I'm definitely excited to see him for the spring game. I think that would be amazing to see him back and just to even have a couple of reps, even for him to catch a punt, I think would be fantastic just for Florida State fans to see that. I know that a lot of media, media members have put out footage of him catching a couple of punts here and there, doing a little bit more light workouts. And he's even done a couple of player-only workouts with himself and some trainers and everything, trying to get him back to speed. But it just unfortunately wasn't meant to be. Now, with him being a redshirt senior, this is his last season unless he does uh, – end up getting another year because of the injury caused by that car accident. But this is pretty much going to be his last year. He has talked about before in the offseason when he joined Florida State, this was going to want to be his last year. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to do so. He was, he was an NFL draft pick at that point that he thought that he could be able to go to the league at that point. 
there's just a lot of things that derailed his season at that point. But super excited to see him getting back on the field. He has been putting out Instagram stories and also on Twitter as well, talking about how so excited he is to getting back. And I cannot wait until he gets back on the field. I think that is a very, very exciting piece for Florida State to build on their offense. But I really appreciate it. And as always, go Knowles.